This has been pretty interesting. I've been putting the panels back on for the first time in 40 years, and uh, I'm relatively happy with the, the rear fit. It looks like everything's going to work there. The, uh, the panels are solid. There's a lot of surface rust, but I think I can, uh, I think I can smooth those out with some, uh, some high build primer. As we go into this front one though, this is the one that was pretty ugly when I took off the paint and I'm not very happy with it. It looks like it had been dented at one point and someone did kind of a hack job. You'll see that they, they welded in a bunch of studs and they pulled out the dent. The problem with that is if you put a straight edge up to it, it's, uh, it's got quite a wobble. So basically what I'm saying is all this area right in front of my thumb right here is sitting high. And on top of that, what I really don't like is if you look, see that shadow right there? Everything, all of my panels, including the door, appear to be just a little bit convex. So they're all sort of sloping in at the joints, um, creating some pretty nasty joints. And I'm not quite sure how to deal with that. So I'm, I'm reading up. Um, the good news is this fender is, well, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to pound on it. I'm going to try to shrink the, uh, shrink the steel. And if I fail, well, it's just a dead panel anyways. So um, while everything's solid, there's really no rust per se, other than the little bit of surface rust. I mean, it looks ugly, but it's actually, you know, it's a very solid panel. I just don't like the shape of it. So we're going to see what we can do. And the other side is similar, even though it doesn't have any dents. So it's convex as well, diving in at that joint. So anyway, I got some work ahead of me. My driver's side door. Uh, it's less than perfect. As you can see, there was a lot of surface rust. And so there's a lot of, uh, you can feel these, but I think just a light skim of filler will uh, solve that. The biggest problem I've got is that right down at the bottom, I've got these pinholes. Um, it's an interesting spot. I suspect as they were sitting in the barn for 40 years, uh, the door filled up with water and that happened to be the water level that it kept uh, hitting as it would fill up and then drain. Uh, and so what I'm going to try to do is I've considered brazing them. I've considered lots of different things. This is not a structurally super important spot. So what I'm going to try is soldering it. So I bought some Eastwood tinning butter and uh, it's my understanding that you spread that on the surface and then heat it with gas until it uh, turns brown and then wipe it off. Then I should be able to solder it. And I've got some uh, 7030 solder that I'm going to use. I don't have a lot of it, but I don't think I, le I need a lot. And uh, we're going to try filling those holes sort of the old fashioned way. Okay, I've just put the tinning butter on, uh, just uh, smearing around the area that I'm going to apply the, the lead to. I applied it until uh, I applied heat just light heat until it turned kind of a light nutmeg brown and then I wiped it off and I think I'm going to be okay with that. Okay, I decided I wasn't quite happy with that so I applied a second coat and, uh, and browned it again and so the result is a little bit shinier surface and I think I'm going to be happy with that. So now I'm going to try putting the lead on. Okay, so I just put some gobs of solder on won't focus for some reason. So I just put some gobs of solder on, as you can see, and uh, it's sitting proud and I'm okay with that for now. I'm going to uh, uh, use some wood sticks to try to push it down and flatten it out a little bit and then I'll rasp it into shape. So this is after I've flattened it a little bit. Uh, I think it's in better shape. I kind of pushed it in and so now I'm just going to lightly file it and make sure to not breathe any of the dust that I uh, that I file down. So that's after doing some filing down. It, uh, it's flat. It is slightly below the rest of the surface because I gently tapped it in uh, to make it slightly concave before I begin. The only mistake I made is this spot right here is sitting a little bit high right now. I think I heated it too much and it expanded a little bit on me and then didn't shrink back. So I'm going to get a dolly on that. 
there's my patch. It is, uh, while it looks darker on the edges, it's just because I couldn't get it completely smooth at the edge. Uh, it's going to take just a tiny little smear of body filler, and it will uh, it'll lay perfect. So I'm really happy with that. That worked great.